There are three different ways to start editing 360 footage in the Insta360 app. The first way is the quickest way, which is to turn on the camera, tap connect, wait for the camera to connect, tap join, and once the camera is connected, in the album tab, all the footage from the camera's micro SD card will show up here. Now I can browse through all my footage and as long as the camera is connected to the Insta360 app, I can tap a shot to start editing it straight away. When editing over Wi-Fi, the export times are slightly longer because it's a wireless connection. So if I want faster export times, I need to download the footage to my phone. So to do this, I can tap the select button, select the footage I want to download and tap download to download the full video to my phone. Or if I want to download a section of the video to my phone, I will open the footage, go to trim, and I will remove the parts where I start and stop recording. Tap the tick. Then I will go back. Then I will select the footage again, tap download. And now I have an option to download the trimmed clip instead of the full video, which is saving me some storage space and I will tap trimmed clip to download this footage to my phone. When the footage is downloading, the camera will flash screen, so you know it's downloading, and once it's finished downloading, then it will stop flashing green. And I can go to the queue to see the progress of the download. So now that the download has finished, the indicator light has turned to a solid blue color. To see the footage that I downloaded to my phone, I will go to the downloaded section and here is the trimmed footage I downloaded. My favorite way to edit 360 footage in the Insta360 app is by using the X5 Quick Reader and a USB-C extension cable because with the last method, downloading footage to my phone will take up storage space, which I may not have since the file sizes are really large. So with this, I can connect the camera's micro SD card to my phone via the USB-C port and I don't need to download the footage to my phone. I can edit off the camera's micro SD card directly. So to do this, I will remove the micro SD card from the X5. And then I will put the micro SD card into the SD card reader. I will use the USB-C extension cable and plug it into the USB slot. I will plug the USB-C cable into my phone. And now all the footage from the camera's micro SD card will load in the album tab. So now I can tap on a footage to start editing it straight away. And when I export this footage, I will benefit from the fast export times because it's a wired connection. Now while this video is focused on version 2 of the Insta360 app, I'm going to be honest and say that I really don't like version 2 of the app. I much prefer version 1 because it's more intuitive and easier to use and I'm used to it. So if you're like me and you prefer editing in version 1 of the app and I still edit in version 1 and I'm just showing you version 2 in case you want to use it, then go to me, about Insta360, switch to the old version, wait a few seconds, confirm switch to old version, and now when I open the Insta360 app, open a shot, it's back to version one of the Insta360 app. In version two of the app, the first way to reframe 360 video 
is by using custom and this will basically point the 360 video at a single view. So I can choose a custom view that I want to look at throughout the entire video and then export this video. Or I can choose the selfie view and the app will automatically keep me in the middle of the video throughout the entire shot. Or I can choose the forward view and now the app will keep the direction I'm walking in in the middle of the video throughout the entire shot. The second way to reframe is using AI frame. And this is where the app will automatically make an edit for you. And to be honest, it's just doing some similar things to what we've seen before. And here I can pick an alternative edit, which is just pretty much the same as it done before. Nothing special. So I do not recommend using the AI feature here. The third way to reframe 360 video in the Insta360 app is by using the record tab. And here I can use the joystick, the preset camera movements, finger swipes, or the zoom slider to record camera movements into the 360 video. So to use these tools to record camera movements into the 360 video, I will tap start recording. And for example, I will use the 360 look around. And now the app is automatically turning around the 360 video. And when it's finished reframing, it will show you the result. And here I can use the left and right markers to trim the shot. So I will trim it until it starts to look around. If I like the shot, I can either export the video. And if I don't like the shot, I can go back and discard the edit. So let's do a joystick example. I'll bring the joystick up on the screen. So I will tap start recording, then use the joystick to look around. I can look in all different directions. Tap stop. This is the result with the joystick. Or I could use finger swipes. And this is the result. And I can also pick up the phone to look around with the phone's gyroscope and use the zoom slider to zoom in and out at the same time. And those are all the different ways I can reframe in the record tab. If there is a subject within the frame, like myself, I can use tracking and it's automatically picked me up as a subject in the video. And if you're happy with the selection, tap start tracking, and then it's going to keep the subject in the middle of the video throughout the entire shot. And this is the result, which is already similar to the selfie view that I showed you before. The fourth way to reframe 360 video in the Insta360 app is by using the editor tab. And here I can create a story using multiple video clips from a single video clip. So to do this, I will use frame cut to cut out the video clips. So I will cut out one video clip that's three seconds long. And then I will cut out a second video clip that's three seconds long. So here I have two video clips from a single video clip. For the first video clip, I will use custom reframe and select the selfie view. And for the second clip, I will change the custom reframe to the forward view. So here I have shot one, the selfie view, and shot two, the forward walking view. So now when I go to edit and export, it will put the highlighted clips together 
And when I play this back, I have a selfie view shot followed by a walking forward shot. Then I can export this shot to my phone. The fifth way to reframe 360 video in the Insta360 app is by using AI Edit. And this is where the app will try to make an edit for you automatically. This is the result. The sixth way to reframe in the Insta360 app is by using keyframes. Now in version one of the app, keyframes had priority. When the footage loads, the yellow plus button at the bottom was the keyframe button. In version two of the app, keyframes has less priority in favor of these AI features, which I personally don't like. Now to edit with keyframes, I have to tap the diamond plus button over here. A keyframe basically tells the app where to look in the 360 video. So do I want to look at the bridge? Do I want to look at the rice terrace? Or do I want to look at myself? In this example, at the beginning of the video, I want to start by looking at myself. So I will add a keyframe here. A keyframe also decides the zoom level. I can pinch my fingers inwards to zoom out and pinch my fingers outwards to zoom in. To save the zoom level, I have to update the keyframe. A keyframe can also decide the rotation. So by tapping rotation, I can slide to the left, slide to the right, to rotate in both directions. I'm going to move forward two seconds in the timeline, and I want to keep myself in the middle of the video and I will add a keyframe to keep this view. So now the app knows for two seconds, I just want to look at myself. But in the next second, I want to show my audience the rice terrace. So I will look in this direction, pinch my fingers outwards to zoom in and add a keyframe. So now you will see in between these keyframes, a transition from myself to the rice terrace. Now I want to show the rice terrace for two seconds. So I'll move forward in the timeline, keep the rice terrace in the middle, add a keyframe. And now the app knows to keep the rice terrace in the middle for two seconds. In the next second, I want to look in the direction I'm walking in and I will pinch my fingers inwards to zoom out, add a keyframe, and I'll just continue to show the direction I'm walking in until the end of the video. So I'll put the path in the middle, add a keyframe. So now when I play this back, this is the result. So it looks at myself, looks at the rice terrace, and then looks in the direction I'm walking in. To change the aspect ratio, tap 9 by 16 and here I can change the aspect ratio for YouTube, 16 by 9 and this is what it will look like. In this example, let's say I want to export a 9 by 16 video. Go to export. To export a high quality video, Tap the settings, tap the highest resolution, 4K, tap the highest bitrate. To remove the Insta360 watermark, go to watermark settings and make sure the watermark is disabled. Tap the tick to confirm and tap export to phone to save the shot to your phone album. And that's it. I hope you found this video useful. Hit the like button if you learned something new. Subscribe for more useful 360 tutorials just like this one. And if you're struggling with your X5 settings, then download my free X5 cheat sheets in the video description. And I'll see you in the next video.